Okay. Start. Okay, everybody on YouTube and anybody else that's watching this, um, uh, I don't even know where to start except um, most of y'all that have seen my videos, um, probably seen some pretty wild stuff. Um, I got saved in 2002. Uh, I'm not going to go through a long dissertation with that, but I'm making this video because uh, the Lord came to me again, and uh, I have to do what I have to do. Um, let me just put it to you like this as a question. If you had been called by the Lord, if it was you, and God had called you and commanded you to do something, you would want to do the best job you, you could. And it's really hard because uh, I don't even really know what to say, except, you know, well, the Lord told me and the Lord showed me. Everything on all my videos, everything I've done is a spiritual gift. Uh, I didn't research stuff. Everything that I showed y'all was me exercising the spiritual gift that the Lord gave me. Um, now it's time for me to um, fulfill my mission, and my mission is over. I've completed my mission. Um, my mission was to solve the riddle. Um, the way the Lord showed me when I was saved was He was going to use me to solve the riddle of ages. Um, I didn't know what it meant, but he immediately began showing me sheep and goats. I had no idea what what it related to until I found out that um, everything was biblical. And I took a step of faith one night and I got saved. Um, I want to do the best job I can because I know that this is actually going to echo in eternity. And um, it's kind of a heavy burden. I feel a little stressed out. I'm a little freaked out, um, overwhelmed. So here it is. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know that my name, Jonathan Cleck, means Yahweh has given a messenger. Um, it really, the word Cleck actually translates as town crier, you know, guy that rings a bell, um, sounds an alarm. Um, so I'm going to fulfill the rest of my destiny, I guess, right here. And I'm going to sound the alarm. Okay, um, Jesus Christ. Let's talk about Jesus real quick. Um, i got my little timer, so I know how long I can talk. Um, I'm not very good at editing videos. Um, so anyway, um, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Yahweh God, the God of the Old Testament, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Okay, the great I am, Yahweh. Okay, his son, Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary. Um, surrendered his will to the Father and he lived out a human experience so he could be the propitiation for our sins. Um, died on a cross as our substitutionary sacrifice. Um, was buried in the tomb and on the third day he walked out of that tomb. In fulfillment of the scriptures, that's who my Jesus is. So if you have the same Jesus, then we have the same Jesus. My Jesus is not the brother of Lucifer, neither is he an archangel. He is the living Son of God that died on a cross for our sins. So anyway, that being said, I take a lot of flack from a lot of my YouTube videos. But anyway, um, so here it is. Um, the Lord has come to me, and he came to me today. The time is up. Um... The time is up, okay? Uh, I don't know whether or not that means like today, tomorrow, or the next day, but I was praying and he told me he's at the door. He's at the door. Um, I pray that, I pray that you understand um, there's nothing I have to gain from doing this except Maybe that one person will watch this video and one person will give their life to Christ, you know. Um, we all have to go into a courtroom, basically, and stand before a righteous judge that's not going to show any partiality to anyone because of who they know and what their position is. That doesn't make any difference. 
But that same judge that's going to judge everybody that walks into that courtroom, he already made this awesome propitiation for for your sentence, and he's willing to commute your sentence. He's willing to drop the gavel and say, I declare you not guilty, even though you're guilty. He's willing to do that, and he's already made that propitiation in Jesus. So, when the time comes to stand in front of this righteous judge, and the time is here. The time is here now. Okay? You're going to have to stand in front of him. And if you haven't taken the free, the free gift, you haven't taken the commuted sentence, you haven't taken Jesus Christ that, that died for your sentence, then you will have to stand before a righteous judge. And you will be condemned. And you will be condemned to hell for all of eternity. I am begging anybody that's listening to this to please put away any sin, any sin. Turn to Jesus Christ with your whole heart. I mean, if you can't get your arms around it, go watch The Passion of Christ. Look at the part where he falls in the street and his mother runs to him. And while he's laying there bloody on the street, he says, Behold, Mother, I make all things new. Uh, it's just so powerful. It's what he did for me. He made all things new, which is impossible. He did the impossible with me. I've taken a lot of flack from a lot of people on YouTube. That's okay. Um, a lot of people might not understand, so I'm going to try and summarize my whole YouTube thing, everything I've ever done, here's the deal. I was called uh, supernaturally. Um, the Lord showed me sheep and goats. He gave me an ability to discern imagery in hieroglyphs that are 1,300 years before Christ all over the world. I've been through 27 pages of thumbnail files on Adobe Photoshop, so I've done my homework. Um, well, when I say I've done my homework, I've exercised my spiritual gift. So, what I put on YouTube, I have to stand in front of Yahweh God. And I fear God. I fear God. I know who God is. And I, I stand in reverent awe of who He is. And I would never speak presumptuously for God. A lot of people have given me a lot of flack. They said, well, uh, you know, this last video series, I said I'm the spirit of a fallen angel in a human body. That's right. Um, let me ask you a question. If a fallen angel bred with a human and it created a hybrid human fallen angel, what kind of spirit would be in that body? There's a spirit, there's a soul. Isn't Satan the prince of the power of the air? The prince of this world who works in the hearts and the minds of the children of darkness? You guys don't know a lot about me. You don't know my background. You don't know where I came from. But if everybody saw my whole background, all you people that have made some really hateful comments, you would probably maybe retract your comments. Um, it doesn't really matter. Jesus said, if they hated me, they'll hate you. Everything I've told you, I've told you the truth. At great cost, by the way. At very great cost. Um, nobody likes to be hated. And that's okay, but I'll tell you what. Just like Jesus asked Peter, who would love their master the most? He who was forgiven little or he who was forgiven much? And Peter said, he who was forgiven much. That's a perfect answer. And he who is forgiven much will go to the wall for the one that forgave him. And I'll go to the wall for Jesus Christ because he went to the wall and he went to the cross for me. So everything I posted on YouTube, I'll stand behind all of it. And I'll stand behind it in front of my God. You can criticize me and that's okay. But be advised. I'm telling everybody right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahweh God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus is at the door. Prepare yourselves. Prepare your hearts. If you haven't repented for the love of God, repent. 
now, I mean immediately, don't wait. There's no time left. I wish I could sit here and tell you the whole story about how I got saved and all the stuff that happened, but there's a there's a, a website called Tribulation Now, and I did a radio show with Fallen Angels TV with John Baptist from Tribulation Now also, and I gave my personal testimony, and you probably won't believe it, most of you won't, but I was called that night to 100% no lying. That's what the Lord told me. That I couldn't lie 1%. He let me know. 1% lie is still a lie. And so everything I've said is all truth, total truth. Now, some of it I find hard to believe myself. I mean, I do. So mind blowing. I mean, it, it. My life is so supernatural. Um, it's so supernatural. I wouldn't trade my life with anybody in the history of the world. Nobody. Um, I'm a prophet. I hate being a prophet. I don't want to be one. That's probably why I am one, you know? Um, I love the fact that I hear the Lord's voice. I love the fact that He confirms stuff to me daily on a constant daily basis. Um, here's what he confirmed to me today. He's at the door. The time is up. It is zero hour. Now, you know, I'll get a lot of critics. Well, it didn't happen last night. Hey, you know what? I don't know if that means today, tomorrow, next week, or next month. You know, a thousand years is a day, and a day is a thousand years. But, I guarantee you this, he's at the door. He's at the door. And that's my little beeper. It's letting me know I got a couple minutes left, so I don't have to edit this. I'm going to pray now, and I'm going to ask you to come to Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the presence of God the Father, Jehovah Shammah, Lord God, hear my prayer. Let anyone that sees this video turn their life to Christ, to give their life to Jesus. Let them look at the cross and realize it's a free ride home. I have nothing to gain except to lead people to Christ and get to stand before the Son of Man and hopefully hear, well done, good and faithful servant. That's all I care about. I just want to know that I did a good job. So, um, God bless everybody. God bless you. The time is here. This is my way of ringing the bell, okay? Ding, 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 the bell's been rung. Listen to me. Go watch my other videos if you don't believe me. Ask yourself how some one person could know everything that I know, or how I could decrypt those hieroglyphs, okay? I pray that you'll turn to Jesus Christ. That's my prayer. Just give your, give your life to Jesus, okay? That's it. The bell's been rung. Jesus Christ is coming. Prepare the way of the Lord.